What's up everybody? We haven't done a project car video in a while and I'm aiming to change that. So today we're going to do a simple project on my 1991 Mitsubishi Montero. Before we get to that though, uh, some quick channel notes. Like and subscribe if you aren't already doing that. Go to blipshift.com slash collection slash universe, which is linked in the description below to buy some t-shirts or stickers. And then if you are a fan of the Hooniverse podcast, we are moving that off this channel onto a separate Hooniverse podcast channel, which I will link below and also probably pop up here. So if you like the, the podcast, uh, we really appreciate that. Go subscribe to that other channel for those. This one is strictly going to be about the car shit because the podcast destroyed the algorithm for us and the channel was starting to go the opposite direction. We don't want that. And we haven't done a project car video in a while, so I'm, I'm changing that today with a fairly simple project on my Montero. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the grill and the headlight surrounds. I painted these flat black uh, maybe two years ago. I don't even remember at this point. Very simple, easy project to do, but over time it just gets weathered and beaten up. You drive these things off road, it starts to look like shit. So I want to change that. I want to respray. I want to respray it in black, but I don't want to just do the same flat black that I did. This time I want to do the actual Mitsubishi lettering and then the edges of the headlight surrounds in a glossy black and then the rest in a satin or flat black. So there's a little bit of a contrast there while still having the same look and um, aesthetic, if you will, that I did before. So this should be easy enough. Let's get started and see how it goes. Step one is fairly obvious. You have to remove the grill and the surrounds. To do that, the grill has three screws on top, which you can see after opening the hood. On my truck, I also have to unscrew the aftermarket auxiliary lights and get those out of the way. To remove the headlight surrounds, I need to remove the turn signals first. These take two screws each. Then the surrounds themselves have two screws each. After that's all done, you just shimmy the surrounds out, noting the plastic tab on the bottom that fits into a slot. For step two, you need to clean the parts, get all that dirt and grime off. I use a combination of some Meguiar's product I have lying around, and then also some isopropyl alcohol. And after cleaning comes step three, which is mild sanding. I admit, I should have been more careful or focused on this part. There's a section of the grill with some paint runs from the last time I did this job. I didn't sand those down far enough and they remain in the new paintwork. After the first coat, I tried to sand it back down a little before adding the second coat and it helped a little bit, but properly smoothing that out will go a long way when I eventually do this job again down the road. Regardless, it's on to step four, which is painting. I made a little paint booth of sorts with a cardboard box and a pair of brake caliper hangers. I saw this technique done on the excellent Seth's Bike Hacks mountain bike channel. I started with the surrounds and gave them three coats. They sat for around 30 minutes between coats, and after the final coat, I moved my paint booth into a sunnier spot. With the grill, I did two coats. Step five, after letting the two coats get dry to the touch, meaning no tackiness, I set to taping. This was the most pain in the ass part of the whole thing, but it's not difficult, it's just time consuming. Really though, this was a quick and dirty tape job anyway, so it only took me like 15 to 20 minutes. Once it was taped up, step six means bringing in the gloss black paint and spraying the Mitsubishi lettering. I let it sit for a moment after, but not too long before I pulled the tape off. You don't want to let it dry and then pull the tape off because you could be pulling some of that paint off with you. After the tape was off, I let the grill sit overnight before putting it back on the truck, and I'm happy with how it looks. Yes, I know there are imperfections, but it's much better than before. Now my main issue is tightening up the damn off-road lights because they're in an awkward spot, and I realized two screws had backed out before I started the process. So my best bet to set them right is to remove the skid plate and attack from underneath. But that's a video for a different day. Hell, that's barely worth an Instagram story. The lights will be sorted later today. For now though, the truck has a much cleaner face. <laughs> 